man, I got a, I got a, I got a, uh, uh, a Marissa Tomei adjacent story that yeah. I, I think, I think I may have told you guys at one point. I may not have. I don't know. But uh, you know who uh, Vincent D'Onofrio is, right? Uh, I actually, I can't say that I do. No. Okay, he was an, an an actor in a lot of major movies in the seventies, eighties, nineties. Yeah. Um, very, very far left guy, but I remember I was, uh, this was when I was in college. They were what, every is, year. Is he one, is he one of those that guys? Like you, you see him and you know who he is. I didn't. And I still no? don't, but oh, everybody really? else did. Oh, he was okay. in full metal jacket. He was in the movie that Aaliyah right. did before she died. Um, and I remember, uh, he had an independent movie that was coming out that was going to be at the Independent Film Festival in Brevard. And Vincent D'Onofrio's people called ahead of time seeing if he could come to the coffee shop I was managing called The Essence of Time. And so my 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 boss, Michael, who was probably about five foot two, kind of reminded me of a little Oompa Loompa. I used <laughs> to always tease him and go, Oompa Loompa, doopa dee doo. I'm going to sell some coffee to you. Um, he walked up and he said, he said, now we got uh, Vincent D'Onofrio is going to be coming in here. And I said, I said, who's that? And he goes, have you ever seen Full Metal Jacket? I said, no. He said, have you seen this movie? I said, no. How about this one? I go, no. He goes, have you seen Men in Black? And I said, yeah. Uh-huh. And he says, okay, he played the bug. And I was like, Oh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, so he comes in later on, didn't know it was him. And he goes, I'd like to start a tab. And I go, okay, what's the last name going to be? And he goes, did not for you. And, uh, and he was, it was him and his daughter who was probably uh, about 10 years old or so. And um, so I went and I made his coffee, brought it out there to him. And I said, and I said, would you like some sugar water? And he did not <laughs> find that funny at all. Oh no, and then, no! And then I came came back because he wanted a refill, and I was like, "Jerk, doesn't even want to come to the counter." And so I went over there and and got it, and I said, "Well, dude, I I I, I was just informed that you're in a movie with Marissa Tomei," and I said, "I got to shake your hand," and he goes, "Why is that?" He I said, "Because of the fact that you got to make out with Marissa Tomei." <laughs> <laughs> and his ten year old daughter oh. sitting right there. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> You're an asshole. He, did, oh, he did not find that too. Well, I was a dumb nineteen-year-old kid, you know. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, I was sitting there going, "That may not have been the most tactful thing." Ah, uh, buddy, buddy, I bet he remembers you. <laughs> yeah. Maybe so. He's probably like that 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 jerk over at that coffee shop. If I yeah. ever see him again, he wouldn't recognize me though because I had long hair at the time. Well, thank you for checking out that clip. Just so you know, I am primarily on Rumble. We have a lot of things that we do over on Rumble, such as not only Rock Talk Live, State of the Union. We get into the music. We get into politics. We also have the morning show as well that we do on Saturday mornings. On top of that, we also have Skinamax Theater on Saturday nights. Stuff that we cannot do on YouTube. And you know what? We're able to get into some uh, subject matter that YouTube does not allow us to get into. We have a thriving Rumble community that is slowly but surely growing. And we'd like for you to be a part of it. Just go and click on the link in the description and make a point to go and give me a follow on Rumble. Cut the jib, uncensored, right over there. All right? Thank you for checking out the clip.